subscribe, click to the bell, like it, share it, and make comments. Before telling you the story of Jean-Pierre Koopman and Miranda Dali in 1976, we will present to you the most important event in 1976, so the Summer Olympic Games in Montreal. The opening of the Montreal Olympic Games in 1976 was the major event all over the world 92 countries were invited and it started from July 17 to August 1st, 1976. The opening was officially launched by Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. The Romanian gymnast scored a perfect 10 on the uneven bars in the team part of the gymnastics at 1976 Montreal Olympic Games. And even the scoreboard didn't know what to do? It was unable to display the four digits needed to show the row of tens because nobody had even conceded that it was possible at this time. Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard won the gold and the light welterweight division at Montreal in 1976, beating Cuban fighter Andre Aldama Cabrera in the gold medal match. Leonard turned pro to following year starting a career that would be him become one of the biggest star in boxing history. And now let's go to the fight Ali versus Koopman. So this is the fight, Muhammad Ali and Jean-Pierre Koppman fought a boxing match on February 20th, 1976. It was the Ali first boxing bout after the Trilla and Manila. Ali won the fight after knocking out Koopman at the fifth round. Judges, by the way, are Ishmael Fernandez and Roberto Ramirez. The referee and both judges are from San Juan. Now, the knockdown rule automatically is waived. You've just got to keep getting back up as long as uh, the challenger or the champion feels it's right. And you can't be saved by the bell. Don King just came by and said, give him a great show, guys. We'll try. Round one. Ali with the hands very high. Cooper's supposed to be a guy that moves in fast. The jab by Ali. The fastest. But look out for the short right hand. In an interview, Koopman denied claims that he had been drinking champagne before the fight, but confirmed that he had drunk some champagne during the fight to help him to move faster and to feel euphoric. Ali is really toying with John Pierre Koopman in round one. Ali is 226. He's three and a half inches taller than Koopman with a lot more experience. Koopman's left eye has already started to swell. Ali had a cold all week. He had a fire in the hotel, had to breathe smoke. Looks like he's overweight at 226 and he's still the champion of the world, isn't he? There's the jab. The bout took place in Puerto Rico at the Roberto Clemente Coliseum. It was televised in the United States live on CBS in front of 40 million viewers. 
outside of the country of Belgium only once. He went to Norway in 73 and lost that fight and stayed home ever since. The record as a pro is 24 3 There's the shuffle. He got one through a little bit. Trouble with some of his sparring partners, and he's had with uh, Jean Pierre Cook and the Lion of Flanders, who may leave here as the pussycat of Ponce Playa Beach. Uh, <laughs> During this time, Apple Inc., formerly Apple Computer Inc., is an American multinational computer company created on April 1, 1976 on Cupertino by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne, then incorporated as a company on January 3, 1977. So let's go back to the fight. Don't fire up think he's hit Muhammad Ali. All right, Dad. We're back into round three now. Well, he just went out and sort of leaned on the fellow from Belgium, the Lion of Flanders. And attempted to repair the damage to Koopman's left eye. But a little work on that. And it might be closed. Cut on the lower portion of the left eye. But he didn't seem to worry about the cold. All the smoke rust was rolling through the room that he was sleeping in. He said he was. $100,000 to the young man for Belgium. Not that young anyway, 29 years old. Ali, of course, is 34, just 34 last month. Seems like only yesterday, doesn't it? Look He's at catching us, I think. Oh, combination, five in a row. Left and right, too fast. Goodbye's down. Goodbye is down. Holding that left eye. Koopman won't get up from the canvas and will lose his fights against the greatest. Ali said that Koopman was not at his best during this fight. So, during this fight, Ali probably did not receive any punches in the face and must have felt like he was on vacation during this fight. But you did get the 36 KO. What about it and was it that easy? First of all, it wouldn't be right not to thank Almighty God, Allah. For my victory, I want to say, Islam alaikum to all the Muslims in America, mainly to the chief minister. The Honorable Wallace D. Muhammad and my children, my wife and all my fans, and also my man, Mr. Tom Jordan, great disc jockey in Dallas, Texas. But the fight itself, it was a tough fight. Man, I look like it, but the man hit hard. Wasn't he, it really a tough fight? Yes, he was awkward. He was awkward. He could take a lot of punches. He carried that left hand so low, I thought you were going to, you know, you laid the right hand on him almost at will, and yes. you jabbed him right out of his mind. Yes, he could take a lot of punches. And, uh, I hit him with a hard punch. It dazed him, but he didn't knock him out. His eye was cut. I hope he's not cut. Oh, seriously. All right, let me ask you a personal question. Just about the number of people that want to use some of your time up. Is it beginning to bug you everywhere you go? Everybody says you're the greatest, but they always want a little piece of you, Bob. Well, it's natural. <laughs> I'm having a slight cold. Yes, I know. It's natural when you're out of, uh, when you're on top, the people are pulling for you, such as down now. But it's all good while it lasts, but you never let it go to here. The main thing, material things in the world don't last long, and we can't take them with us, and I'm trying to get my spirit together, my soul, where after I'm out of boxing, I can still have something to look forward to, and that's God himself. You seem like you really have it together now, though. I mean that. I've known you for about 10 years, and it just seems to me like you really have it together. Well, after talking with the Honorable Wallace D. Muhammad and studying Islamic teachings, it makes you wise and it makes you civilized. Okay, now you really had nothing against Jean-Pierre Cooper. Oh, he's a nice, nice man, real gentleman. Please subscribe, click to the bell, like it, share it, and make comments.